This vlog comes to you as a result of some research that I did for my series of videos about great British yacht builders, in which I really wanted to feature a builder called Sea Line, if I'm honest, because they were built in a place called Kidderminster, which is actually quite close to my birthplace. Imagine my surprise though when I contacted them and found out that they've now been bought by a German group of yacht builders and are now built in Germany. This vlog will tell you something about that group of yacht builders and the remarkable range of vessels that they produce. Hansa group of companies was born from Hansa sailing yachts, but grew to include Dealer, Moody, Varianta, Privileged Catamarans, Fjord, and the formerly British company Sea Lion. And from what I read on their website, they're all built in what must be a tremendously impressive facility in Griesfeld, Germany. Yachts for Sale satellite images have picked up a very large looking facility in this area that's very close to the Baltic Sea. I won't cover all of those brands in this vlog, but let's take a look at just a few of them. I first heard about Hansa yachts from the owner of a very large super yacht who was thinking of buying a sailing yacht to keep for a spot of sailing ever so often. And he enthused about the price to value ratio that this shipyard offers. They have a very comprehensive range of sailing boats that go from their entry level and award-winning 315, which is just under 10 meters in length, all the way through to the 21 meter 675. Hansa have two new models for this year. One is a 45 foot yacht called the Hansa 458. Sailing Today magazine called this yacht Hansa's best yacht yet. And as I briefly read through the article they wrote about it, I noticed that they too spoke about the extremely good value offered by this shipyard. The writer of the article was an experienced charter captain and he enthused about how easy this model is to handle stating as well that all of the lines led to the helm station so that this yacht offers what he calls effortless sailing. The other new model from Hansa is their 508, a 50 foot blue water cruiser that's also designed to give all of the control to the helm to facilitate sailing. This is really a performance cruiser and Hansa provide what's called a VPP or a velocity prediction program that tells you how the energy of the wind at certain strengths will be converted into sailing speeds. They say that the 508 sets a new benchmark in the industry in this field. Hansa's motto is breaking rules and setting trends. And I have to admit that after spending some time on their website and looking at their yachts, a fantasy about returning to the Caribbean on one of their yachts has started to take root in my mind. But before I could get too attached to sailing yachts, I was pleased to be snapped out of my daydreams by Fjord Motorboats, another part of the Hansa Group. And I have to say that every time I see these models at a boat show, I do stop and admire them. With a range that runs from a 36 foot open to a 52 foot open, these are very sleek looking boats with impressive performance. The largest in the range is capable of 36 knots at top speed, powered by two IPS engines with 1,200 horsepower in total. The layout on this particular model looks absolutely fantastic with lots of sunbathing space and a central galley area under a T-top so that you can drop anchor, crack open some beer from the fridge and enjoy some tasty snacks from the barbecue grill. In their promotional material, Fjord do like to point out that this makes a wonderful boat to party on board. But they also put a lot of emphasis on the quality of the hull design and its strength. And almost every model I looked at featured some footage of it crashing through a sizable wave, which honestly is great testimony to the confidence that they have in their build quality. 
I particularly like the Fjord 36 open though. I could see myself keeping this at the back of my imaginary house in Fort Lauderdale and cruising down to the Florida Keys on weekends or across to the Bahamas where the low draft of this boat would be perfect for crossing those infamous sandbanks. 600 horsepower of engine power will assist this boat to speeds of up to 40 knots and the high sides to the boat give a feeling of safety on board so this can be a very family friendly boat too. And talking of families on a boat, anybody with children knows the advantages of having a toilet on board and in this case quite a respectable cabin too. And finally, we get to the shipyard that instigated my research into the Hansa group of companies. Sea Line yachts offer a very interesting range of yachts that could be considered as entry level for many who are starting to indulge in their passion for luxury boats. Their range extends from 33 feet in length to 53 feet and spans across cruiser, flybridge and sports yachts. The smallest in their range is the C330 in their cruiser range and they promote this model by saying that living on 33 feet has never felt larger. I have to say it is mightily impressive how much they've packed onto this yachts with a really nicely appointed cabin, a second aft cabin and a decent inside outside living area with cooking appliances and easy and safe access to the water. Sea Line state that this model has the biggest beds in its category and the highest ceilings below deck, which is an important consideration if you're planning on spending a few nights on board this 33 foot mini yacht. The largest yacht in their range, the F530, does also seem to offer an awful lot for a vessel of its size. The first thing that I noticed was this forward seating area that can convert into a sun pad. This concept is more often seen on much larger yachts and they have integrated it really nicely into their design. And talking of design, just look at how they extended the flybridge back as long as it can possibly go without compromising aesthetics or engineering of course, so that you can comfortably accommodate six or seven people up there, whether that's to enjoy the cruising or to eat a meal together when the yacht is at anchor. That is impressive on a yacht of this size and it shows that Sea Line are successfully tackling that constant challenge that small boat manufacturers always face of form against function. And with a form as pleasing as this, the Sea Line F530 is certainly a yacht that I would want to go and take a look at in person if I were in the market for such a vessel. You know, I've always found it a little bit amusing that it's considered politically incorrect to stereotype whole nationalities for their bad habits, whilst it's perfectly acceptable to stereotype them for the good things that they do. You know, you may have heard that saying about hell is where the English are cooks, it's all organised by the Italians, and then heaven is where the French are cooks, it's all organised by the Swiss. I put the whole expression in the description below in case you've never heard of it. But the point is, in that text, they say that in heaven, the mechanics are Germans. And there's a good reason for that. German engineering and German mechanics really are superb. In fact, even yachts that are built in other countries will very often have German engines because they're considered to be so advanced and so reliable. Personally, I think it's great that Germany is not limited just to the construction of giga yachts like the ones that we looked at in last week's vlog and that are really quite unachievable for most people. With Hansa Group, there's a great range of German-built yachts that span across sailing monohulls, sailing catamarans, and a fantastic selection of motor yachts too, and all at prices that can be achieved by people with relatively moderate incomes. If all goes according to plan, I shall be traveling to the country of Heaven's Mechanics and the country of Hell's Cooks too in the coming weeks. And I'll be reporting back to you on some very diverse builders. So if you enjoy learning about the intriguing world of yachts and super yachts, irrespective of whether you can finance that passion just yet, do keep that passion alive by subscribing to my channel.